Hi everyone and welcome to a new Mac 3D video. Today we're looking at how do we incorporate uncertainty in our tailings planning. So for this video we are using a Mac 3D Tailings Plus together with the simulation add-on. The simulation add-on gives you the possibility to connect Mac 3D together with Excel and GoalSim. So GoalSim allows you to do dynamic simulation and it's really good at representing and quantifying different types of uncertainties. It's been quite extensively used in the mine industry for water balances, but it can be used for many other purposes. If you want to have more information, just click on the link above. So the question would be, why do we want to include uncertainty into our planning? Um, traditionally, tailings planning has been done using deterministic model, where we just ignore the uh, randomness of the system we just assume a fixed value for our throughput, for our slopes, and for our operating points. But these have got limitations. And once we put our planning into practice, we always realize that it didn't happen the same way as uh, we had planned it. So that's where we can introduce a stochastic model. And stochastic model is a way of handling uncertainties. Uncertainties in our knowledge of the system, and uncertainties about just the natural randomness of the system. So we replace the uh, deterministic input by uh, distributions or by functions that have been calculated directly from another model. So in this example, we are connecting GoldSim with Mac3D. On the left side, GoldSim will be doing a dynamic simulation of a mass balance um, and a water balance. The mass balance will be occurring on the concentrator to estimate based on the ore processing throughput what is the volume of tailings that was actually being deposited and the amount of water that is coming through. And then we have a water balance on the TSF pool. On the right side, we have Mark 3D that will be taking care of doing the deposition and the raising of the dam wall. Um, we here have the center line. Uh, we've already prepared what is the uh, dam template. So in this case, we'll be raising a dam with a center line construction and a downstream slope of one in three, an upstream slope of one in two, and a crest width of 20 meters. So the way that we'll be working is we're doing a simulation from 1st of January 2023 to 1st of January 2028 and we'll be running it 40 times. So every single realization, we will pick different points according to the distributions that we have. And every single month, GoldSim will send some information to Mark3D so that it can run the deposition and Mark 3D will send some information back to um, GoldSim. So I won't go into the detail of the GoldSim model, um, but we have a number of uncertainties that's, that are being taken into account. We have around the mass balance, um, the amount of ore processing throughput, and uh, the percentage of uh, solids in the tailings uh, that allows us to estimate how much water gets into the TSF. We have a stochastic rainfall generated sequence, which allows us to estimate how much runoff we have. So the hydrology takes into account both the uh, wet beach and the dry beach runoff. And the areas are, are coming from MacQD. And then finally, the TSF pool calculation takes into account how much water is being deposited and trained, how much is coming through runoff, direct rainfall, and then how much is living as well. Uh, so the outflows, we have the seepage, evaporations, and a barge pump that pumps to a return water dam. We also have some uncertainties around the slope above water and below the water that are also taken into account. So let's just start it. I've started the server here, and I can just uh, start the simulation on GoldSim, and it will start uh, running for five years. And it will do that 40 times because we have 40 realizations. So we start the first runs and every month start doing the deposition, raising the dam, and then do the water and mass balance on the other side um, at a daily time step. I'll just fast forward and uh, we'll look at the results.
Okay, so the model now has been run and here we've got a couple of plots. The ore that's been processed and the total tailings that's been stored, the various elevations on the dam, the catchment area that has been calculated directly by Mark 3D, the amount of water that's been pumped to the return water dam, which is coming out of the water balance in Gold Sim together with the pond volume, and the input data in terms of the pitch slope that were used. So we could look at each of them individually. Um, and as you can see, each of the realization that we did, they are basically each futures that are possible where we have sampled each of the distribution that we had and run the model um, and they give us those, those different values. We could look at statistical values. Um, so we might be interested at uh, what is the likely um, elevation discharge over time. And you can see that actually a range of like 415 to uh, 423, so about eight, eight meters um, of difference. We could look as well at, in terms of the tonnage, how much how much ton has been um, deposited. And same thing, you can see that uh, given the, the uncertainty that we had in the ore that's been processed, um, there's quite a bit of variation between 16 million cubic meters and 21 million cubic meters are estimated to be stored by 2028. So as you can see, it gives you envelope of results instead of a deterministic values with a probability of, of things happening. So um, those, are, those are envelope of results, each of them are, are percentiles. So instead of like looking at just fixed values, we now look at an envelope. Uh, we look at what is the risk of things happening. So we'll leave it at that for today. Keep well and don't forget to subscribe. Cheers.